Hey guys, it's JC's Blue here, and here we're going to show a video tutorial on how to install Android 4.4 KitKat on your Note 2. So hey guys, it's me here, and I'm just going to show you guys a little video on how to install KitKat on your Note 2. Now, if you guys are using the Canadian version of the note 2 it won't matter but it won't matter but you would have to flash the N7105 LTE firmware because um, the Canadian version of the note 2 is essentially LTE enabled and if you don't install that one if you install the N1700 it's not you're not going to get LTE radios I'm not sure if it's compatible I'm not really sure but just to be on the safe side flash the international LTE firmware on your Canadian version and it should work just fine. So um unfortunately for Twerp users who use Twerp recovery, um I tried looking up Twerp 2.6 for the Note 2 and unfortunately I couldn't find any so I had to do the good old fashioned clock mod recovery. I had to flash it to my phone because I used to use Twerp on my Note 2 and now I switched over to clock mod recovery. So just make sure to back up everything, make a backup, just in case anything goes wrong, and you should be pretty much okay. So now, I've already installed the zip on my phone, I mean I have dragged the zip on my SD card, so we're going to install zip from SD card, I'm not sure if you can see it. So we're going to install, choose zip from SD card, and I have it in the ROMs folder. Is it this one or external sorry external oh, I'm having a little noob trouble noob trouble there but uh, sorry about that guys I was having some noob troubles now we can go and install the ROM so now I'll just give it a second to install the ROM Shouldn't take that long, considering it's stock Android. Touch race takes forever, but if it's a uh, Cyanogen mod based stock Android, it shouldn't take too long. And the file sizes are dramatically different. That's we're talking almost 200 megabytes versus almost a gig. And we're gonna go back and we're gonna reboot the system. No, I don't want to fix that. I don't know why it tells me that, but we're going to reboot and see if it works. I think it's stuck in a boot loop. I'm not sure. Let's see if it is. Yeah, it is. So I'll be right back, guys. Hold on. Sorry for the troubles, guys. I don't know what's wrong with me. Probably it's because I haven't made videos in a while. Prob um, Android videos in a while. So that's why. So now we're going to reboot the system. It should work. Yep, here we go. Now it's booting into the Omni ROM. Kind of cool boot logo. <laughs> Although I prefer the Cyanogen mod logo over this. Should take a while to boot, so I'm going to pause the video and then I'm going to return. And here we go. Well, now we have a fully functioning KitKat ROM for the Note 2. I haven't flashed, um, what to call it? I haven't flashed the uh, Google Apps, but just to make sure everything's working. So everything's working okay. Camera works. It's pretty smooth. And just to show all that it's legit, 
Um, Kit Kat. Okay, so okay, here we go. Uh, we're gonna go to about phone, and we're running Android four point four point two. Um, Kit Kat. So we've that little Easter egg going on. <laughs> okay, so it's not sure if it's stable, but I would pretty much wait probably a month or two before it gets more stable and like that but other than that um it works out pretty good and you can notice that i do have um lte you guys can see the lte icon right there and just to make sure wi-fi works let's just test it out right now wi-fi turn it on Searching for Wi-Fi networks. Yep, the Wi-Fi does work. And let me just connect it for a second. Because I want to see the password. And just to test the Wi-Fi browser. And the browser, um, the default browser still hasn't changed from... What's it called? It still hasn't changed to Chrome. Since on the Nexus 5, Chrome is the default browser. So you still do have that. Thing there so other than that um i think i may be switching to this rom when it becomes a little bit more stable and i'm a little bit more confident but this is just to show that the note 2 definitely can run um kitkat android without any problems and it's not that old a device but it's got some pretty support and it's got some pretty support <laughs> it's got some pretty good support in the development community so I'm looking forward to see what this ROM and other things hold out to it. So, it's just been a little tutorial on how to install um, the Note 2. And let me just go in a little bit more in depth. And um, I will be making a full review of this ROM once um, it's more stable. Um, there's some visual changes. Um, for example, now the background is semi-transparent. You can see the background through the app drawer. Um, Instead of having a blue clock, why is it not focused? So instead of having a blue clock, it's um, white now. But other than that, it's not all that different. Let's see if Google Now is working. I guess not. I don't think I know how to get... Oh yeah, because I haven't flashed the Google Apps yet. But other than that, it's pretty good. Keyboard is very nice. Everything about it is pretty good. So, let me just test the camera one more time to see if they fixed that squash the bug. So, we're gonna go into video and we're gonna go into settings and 1080p. And I'm surprised the video is not squashed anymore. So, it's pretty good. I think they fixed that bug what Cyanogen mod had. I think I'll be switching over to this ROM, like I said many times. <laughs> but other than that, I give this a thumbs up. And just to let you know, Android 4.4 does work on the Note too. So see you guys again. And this has been another video. Peace out. I can't forget to say that. <laughs>